Um, my name is Judith Orr. I'm editor of Socialist Worker Newspaper. Um, I uh, want to show solidarity with the uh, struggle in Bahrain, uh, particularly here in Britain, where David Cameron and the British government fully back the Bahraini dictatorship and Saudi Arabia government, even though they claim to be for freedom and democracy. Um, I reported from Cairo during the days, the 18 days that brought down Mubarak and the, the sense of potential for these revolutions to bring freedom and social justice to the people of the region is immense and obviously people are facing repression and hardship now but I think it's important for people in Britain to know about the struggle in Bahrain and which is why our paper we follow it and want to talk to people who've been who faced the repression in Bahrain. What would you say to the UK government as they are selling weapons and telephone uh, to the Bahraini government? Yes, yeah, stop selling arms to dictators. Stop it. Um, the, whole, the whole Western allies are absolutely wanting to back the Bahraini regime and the, the Saudis and this will make it difficult for the revolutions and so we say our government should have no business there. But this is where they say the interest of oil, the interest of our, uh, we are after our own interest. So how will you add up this with the human rights cause they have been promoting to the, uh, to the Arab world and they are not supporting Why would it come to Bahrain since we are seeing it ever? They are hypocrites. Uh, they are hypocrites. Uh, David Cameron and the Western governments all backed all the dictatorships. Ben Ali, Mubarak, right till the last minute until they were toppled. And only then did they claim to be on the side of the revolutions. And so they want to keep doing business with the Gulf dictators. Um, but we say this, the world should not be about oil and profit. It should be about humanity.